What is up guys, Mandusa here. Today we're going to be asking the simple question of how do you unlock the Huntress? A lot of people have a problem with it. I didn't really have a problem with it. But is a lot of people are doing it on Drizzle. As far as I'm aware, the monster logs that are needed to unlock the Huntress do not drop on Drizzle or the, or just the drop chance is just garbage. So do Rainstorm and Monsoon and eventually you're going to have them drop multiple times off of enemies. Pretty much what a monster log is, it's like a little like, I don't know, just kind of like a little book about whatever monster you got the drop from. It has like their, you know, little story about them, like what they look like and other little crap like that. Just a little information on them, nothing huge. But when you get 15 of those, you unlock the Huntress. Now the Huntress... One of the only like you know females in this game as far as we're aware i'm not sure if there's any other ones i could be wrong but yeah the huntress pretty much the only person in this game that can kite like kite well like where you don't have to stop and shoot you can actually move around and shoot um as you see the abilities over here we have strife which is our strafe sorry or i could be saying that wrong but you just pretty much fire arrows at the enemy you have your laser glive um that pretty much just bounces from enemy to enemy. You can actually go through walls, which is pretty cool. But I believe the last bounce does like the most damage or something like that. Um, you have a blink, which is like a teleport. You can, you know, hop. I believe that doesn't make you invulnerable though, so keep that in mind. And then you have your uh, cluster bomb, just a good little like AOE damage. It's pretty good. But we're gonna show you some huntress. You know, we're just gonna play until we die. If we beat the game, we beat the game. For those of you who just want to know how. Uh, Unlock Huntress, you know, boom, that's all it is. Collect 15 monster logs on anything higher than Drizzle difficulty, which is easy. So do the medium to hard difficulty. Um, and then you're all set. I actually, um, I believe if I beat the game one more time, I'll actually get the Mercenary. So, you know, for th those of who want to stick along, let's see if we can do it. It is what it is. I actually have the, uh, command uh, artifact on right now where I can pick what items I want from a uh, chest and whatnot so it's pretty cool it's been a while since I actually made a risk rain video I'm still pretty pumped that one of my videos is you know almost two two K views right now which is pretty nuts um you know I wasn't expecting to get that that much of a uh, you know following of people in that or just that amount of people watching the video but you know it's pretty cool maybe down the down the road you know i might i might be a little bit more famous or might be a little more popular whatever and you might be saying oh dude you don't have two thousand anymore you have a hundred thousand i hope that'd be what i want to see you know i mean it is what it is but for right now i'm a small channel and we're doing how we uh we do man for those of you who, you know, already are subscribed to me and, you know, you're going to be part of that process and, you know, that's awesome, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I fell like a boss. Oh, yeah. I'm babbling on. Didn't even tell you uh, the cool stuff. You have your, you know, your basic auto attack, which is your first ability. You have your uh, laser glide. Let me show you that. I'm going to bounce it off of an enemy for you. That actually bounces three times. You do have a kind of a knockback for uh, you know your first ability. Um, your third ability is your gap closer, your blink. See how I'm, I'm moving while shooting? Pretty like handy. A lot of people, you know, this is their go-to character when they play the game. I mean, it, it makes sense. She's uh, pretty damn good. And as for the fourth ability. <laughs> Well, normally that drops little bomblets, but I guess they all dropped on his head. See the bounce? Pretty cool. Alright. So pretty much with command on, we can just select what items we want. Pretty much you want to stack, you know, some attack speed and then eventually get some, some bombs or something. Or not bombs, but like the missiles. Which is pretty good. Uh, let's get some speed. Oops. Yeah, the cool thing is I'm actually partnered with um, TGN now, so uh, for, for those of you who uh, don't know what that is, 
It's the second biggest gaming network on YouTube, right under Machinima. You know, hopefully that'll be the number one gaming one. But, you know, I'm just happy I'm a part of some kind of partnership. Just, just nothing by itself. Like, you know, I'm partnering with YouTube. You know, that's cool. But being part of a gaming network is really cool. I mean, not many people can say that just starting off. I I mean, I, I started a month ago, so, I mean, I, I just feel pretty accomplished, but, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to stop here. I want to keep going further and further. If I stick with TGN in the future, you know, I, I, I hope that, you know, I'll be like a VIP or whatever they call it. Um, they do have a program where, like, they treat their more popular people, like, even better. You know, you get cool perks and stuff, but right now I'm just a normal TGN member. Um, some of you might have seen TGN before. It's like a little purple, uh, you know, diamond-looking logo. Um, I know there's a bunch of people that, uh, you know, stream on Twitch that are a big part of uh, TGN. Like, there's one guy on um, Twitch named Towley. I believe he was part of TGN, if not still part of TGN. Um, pretty cool guy. Really funny prude guy. <laughs> Alright, we got a, a tier 3, I believe that's called. Like a really strong item in the red box, so just trying to clear these guys out. So I'm kind of not really wanting to try to pick an item while there's enemies spawning around me. Alright, um, we're gonna go for repulsor armor. Um, repulsion armor, sorry. Uh, I feel like it's just a really good starter item to get just because it'll help you survive a lot of encounters. So I am on uh, medium difficulty and you know it's not monsoon but it does get get monsoon like at the very end. So uh, nobody can really survive everything in this game. Just picking up some extra items before we go to the next level. Yeah guys um definitely be sure to leave me some comments um that's the only thing I, I would say so far is that I love when people like uh, respond with comments. You know, I actually answer them. I don't know what other people actually answer their their uh, their YouTubers' comments, but I, I actually do when I get them. So um, that will always be a thing. So definitely uh, always uh, respond when you can. I, I do uh, appreciate it when people give me uh, feedback. I believe I just need to, uh, I want to say I'm going to do a few more unlock character unlock vi videos because I only have like the miner, the mercenary, and this would be the huntress. Um, and then I think I've done all the character unlocks so far. My most popular video for Risk Grain was actually the, um, the... The one where I show you how to unlock the chef and the uh, loader, and then I split those up into two videos, and you know, showing you more detailed uh, playthroughs of them and whatnot. So a lot of people happen to like that, and they give it a good watch. Um, I still, I'm still gonna do the um, the video showcasing the new items for people who, you know, would like to see it. What I'll do is I'll actually have the command uh, artifact on so everybody can actually, you know, see them really easily, not have to worry about a chance kind of thing, you know. Um, there are some really cool items that they, they release, so, uh, you know, if you're just, you don't have the game yet and you're still, you know, wishing you can get the game, I would highly recommend picking it up. It's always on sale. It's always something going on with this game where you can get it pretty easy. Um, it's probably one of the best games I've played in a long time. I would say it's probably one of my top favorite games right now. Um, being that it's an indie game and it's it's just really fun. You can't really go wrong. Um, a lot of people like still judge indie games from the look, and I've always said it's not about the graphics. It's about the you know the fun of the game it's about the uh playability and everything and this game like one thing about roguelike games are you're, you're made to die you're made to start over and that's one of the biggest problems with these kind of games it's the fact that well, the biggest problem with most games nowadays is the fact that a lot of people just don't die and they're like they don't have really much trouble like beating the game and then they just don't want to play it anymore and you lose a lot of your 
replayability with games like that and with games with roguelike you know in them you're meant to die so you're gonna you're gonna have to play it over and over again and it becomes kind of like a fun strategy to it and you you always want to uh find ways that you can actually you know beat the game and whatnot all right we got a good attack speed going on right now always want to kind of move around though she doesn't have the best uh health pool so definitely don't want to uh stick around too long that's why she kites is because her of her uh, lower health pool she actually recently got nerfed nerfed in uh i think it's patch 1.21 or something like that the most recent one they, they nerfed her like by like 10 percent of her damage or something like that because her auto attack actually like was one of the strongest and uh She's still not like the fastest attacking person. I believe Commando still holds the uh, the crown for that one. Um, but yeah, she's still pretty badass. I mean, it's kind of weird when you first unlock Huntress. You're kind of like, oh man, I feel really squishy. But like, you feel super mobile and like, I don't know. It's, it's almost hard to die sometimes. But it's all like a practice thing. You'll get used to her. See, repulsion armor is just saving me. See, my health would be going down a lot faster if it wasn't for that repulsion armor, though. I actually messaged the uh, developer of the game, or, or should I say the uh, the marketing guy, trying to grab some uh, hint, hints about... Uh, another game or anything if they're making it and you know no, no reply so far but I'll let you guys know annotations if they do if it's uh, something I can actually talk about um, so I hope with you know being maybe being with TGN I might have a little bit of leeway maybe they might tell me something I don't know um, but I did see something about um, the guy was not actually from his word of you know his mouth or whatever you know but it was something I saw like a little project the guy was playing around with where you like he was like busting through a door and like shooting some guy in the face or whatever but it looked like a if risk of rain was like zoomed in really far but with like modern day kind of you know twang to it or whatever it looked pretty cool um who knows it could be a new project he's working on i can't remember where i found that at so you can just dig around and maybe you, you might be able to find something i don't know all right i do like getting tankier items on uh the Huntress. Those always come in handy. Um, I don't know if I should keep the one I have. I do like the missiles, but sometimes you want other things with, uh, with it. I'll go with the, uh, the Jar of Souls. It's pretty good when you can, uh, just spawn multiple copies of everybody on the screen. See if we can find some more items. Okay, th there's the three guys right there. I believe I've already been over here. Nope. Perfect. There we go. Um, let's see. What do we want? We want some more? Actually, let's get the crowbar. Um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I guess it is just crowbar. That way we'll be doing a little bit more damage to those beefier guys. Yeah, do note that like if you get too far away when you're backing up and shooting, it will turn you the opposite direction. Or if there's an enemy, you know, closer to you in that direction, you will turn. The kiting is kind of iffy because of the, the way the game is actually played. Um, but it's not too bad. You get used to it. a drone that's super overpriced that uh, I'm probably never gonna pick up because if it ever dies it'll be even more expensive so I, I don't know about that one we got a good spot on this level though normally all the the um, the tre treasure boxes or whatever they're called for the coins 
they're always up here, so you get a good bit of gold when you walk by. But also, a lot of enemies spawn up here, so I gotta hurry up and grab what I can. More recently, I've been trying to uh, experiment with more of the longer playthroughs, like non-recorded ones. I haven't really recorded any yet, but like I had one game where I was like almost two hours of playing. I'm sure people have done way more than that, but I just was dying of boredom playing that long. Like you could just murder everything. It, was, it wasn't that it was not fun. It was just not. It wasn't really fun by myself, I guess, but. I was just kind of stressing the game, seeing how far I could take it, and, you know, just beating the shit out of everything. Charge Field Generator. I don't think that one's a new item, but I never really used it before, so. But it just kind of generates, say, yeah, when you kill somebody, it pops a little, little lightning ring above you. Or around you, I should say. Yeah, Hunters isn't really too great with uh, drones. You normally see how that switched when my, when I got really close to him. That's the problem with the kiting; it can be kind of a pain. Yeah, see, I was aiming, I wanted to hit the green guy, and it just since they were behind me, that's that was the result. All right, see how we got the lightning field. See, it's, it's one of her strengths. You can just kind of keep doing this, and if they're not really range or anything, they're not really going to get you. Tons of free damage is all it really is. Spawn Jar Souls, because I forgot I had it. Almost killed myself. to get some HP. As you can see, I picked up the fruit because, yeah, I don't want to die. Um, we're going to pick up some some HP kind of things. I think I need the double damage. That'll help a lot. Alright. Grab the mysterious vial. For that health regen. Alright, um. Kinda think of what we need. Oh. Back off. That's kinda off the screen. Not really cool. Uh, let's go with some some tankiness. Smart shopper. Oh god, fella. Good thing I have the uh, double jump, so I don't have to fall all the way down. Close combat is not her forte. Normal 
<laughs> normally you just want to combo your uh, your glive and your your. Uh, I keep wanting to say your ultimate, but it's really just your fourth skill. It kind of helps, like you just kind of knock them back a little bit, and then you you fill them up with the uh, the last ability. Hmm. What do we want? Guess we'll get the sun sunglasses or whatever. Maybe we can deal some double damage. Some double D. <laughs> Alright, we have to get out of this level before we get stuck with uh, tons of enemies. Scavenger. It's like the worst person to get. Let's see what we can find up here to help us out. Alrighty, uh. Oh god, I had to just grab something. Uh, that, that's the one where like it spawns a little creature that... That little blob right there, you can barely see it. It drops buffs or something like that. I haven't really uh, seen it, you know, dropping anything really. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's even worth, but uh... Yeah. Oh god. Right, we're gonna try to move up some because the AoE from that many enemies is kind of too much for the Huntress. Oh, the body blocking with the snowmen, dude. They, uh, I don't know what they're called. Like the ice golems, I guess. Ooh. Oh, wow. Way to spawn out of nowhere. So far we're on very hard, so it's not too too bad, but the game is getting kind of nuts. Alright, that was my original drone, the healing drone. Um, I'm going to go with the laser beam, even though it's super expensive. I do need some more damage coming out. Um, healing drone would be really nice, but I, I don't really want to chance, you know, not putting out enough damage, which would get me killed if uh, the enemy actually survives or whatever. My shield is crazy big, and I just fell down. I, wa I wanted to kill him, but whatever. Just have to kill him later. Probably should have just stuck with Jar of Souls because that would be really nice to have right now, but <laughs> I kind of need the HP. There we go, we have a ton of money. Alright, we got the Hopo base for uh, the explosive uh, weaponry for your drones. Um, what do we want? Let's go with another uh, mortar. More damage is good. these enemies away from the boss.
probably should go ahead and go kill the uh, Colossus because I totally forgot about him. Not even sure where he's at. I really think a map feature would be really cool in this game, or you know, an item that could, you know, I guess give you a map of the level. That'd be pretty neat, in my opinion. There we go. Free laser beams on the enemy. I'm not actually sure if the laser beams are, sh are making like... Oh yeah, it is. I didn't realize it was actually shooting the uh, explos explosive uh, weaponry. Alright, let's go with the... Uh, Actually, let's go with the 56 leaf clover. I kind of want to maybe possibly get some items from killing uh, elites. There's a little creature following me that apparently spawns buffs that uh, I don't ever see. I could just be missing it on my screen, but who knows. Scavenger is an asshole. If anybody doesn't know the scavenger, he's just that, a scavenger. If you look, he has the game's items like sticking out of him. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty unique little boss. You don't see him too often. Um, I would say he's about as rare as the infant. Um, at least in my playthroughs, I barely see infant. I don't know why he doesn't really pop up, but he doesn't. I believe the first time I actually ever seen Inferent, um, there was two and they blocked me in and I had to fight both of them with low health and somehow I killed them, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Oh man, that's not a good spot. Uh, let's see, we're just getting something random. We're going to go with the uh, touch leaf. No, no, that was so bad. The um, level one went ahead of the uh, pickup item. So it put me to the next level. Oh, there we go. I don't have to cry too hard now. Oh man, I didn't want to get that item, but I had no choice. We're gonna take it though. It's actually pretty decent, but it can hurt you. That's the only crazy thing about it. it. Does good damage. Oh shit, as you can see, it does good damage to everybody. Okay, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I'm not tanky enough to take that that damage. Holy shit. Man. I almost killed myself. Oh guys, we're about to die. We about to die. Oh my god, I'm the luckiest the luckiest huntress alive. Nineteen seconds, come on. We need the heal. Come on. Fourteen. Why is it taking so long? Oh, maybe that's the buff. Oh, a little bit of HP, okay, that's cool. Oh, he just committed suicide. No, he's back. Alrighty, man. Now you have that HP. There we go. Nice. Just what I wanted to see. Ah, oh, Cremator, I hate you so much. To be honest, I prefer the pig on this level. <laughs> Seems like he's such an easier boss to deal with than this guy. Oh no, it's not a good spot. Ukulele. Ukulele is really good on the uh, the Huntress. 
do note her uh, glide actually applies on hit effects, so kind of makes uh, some handy dandy work there. I had to pick that really fast. So that little orb I picked up from the little little creature like it gave me some type of shield or something. I'm not really sure about that one. Oh wow, that damage. Whew, close. Cha-cha! Oh god. Forgot you can't run from uh from those really. They will still hit you in the face. Oh, that's so expensive. Come on, where are the treasures? Where are my treasures? Hmm. Seems uh suspicious. Oh, you bastard. Oh, this is the worst place to go ever. Why did I go up here? Woo! Oh my god. This guy has it out for my face. Oh my goodness. How am I alive? I'm a, so lucky. I actually don't think I can get up this way. Alright guys, we gotta try to, we gotta go for the boss. We gotta do it. Wait, what is over here? It's kind of a weird way the level set itself up. I don't think I've seen it this way before. Or maybe I have, oh well. Man, I have no luck today. Guess there is no items, so gotta do it, guys. Gotta go for the boss. Gotta go for the gold. Oh, we gotta kill at least one of these guys so we can pop the shield. There we go. There we go, nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, what can we get? Let's get the root. More HP is better. Nine more enemies. Whoops. 
Ouch. Wow, I took all that to the face. Bastard. Jeez, the dude just murked me. Oh, the chooks. Oh, the chooks are real. The chooks are real. Oh, God. No! <laughs> Fucking fuckballs, man. Alright, well, that is what it is. <laughs> well, that, friends, uh, that is the Huntress in a nutshell. Um, that is a long little playthrough showing you how it is. Um, but like I said, uh, there will be more Risk of Rain, because that is my video. That uh, That is my game right now, that is, is the game that is bringing me the views. It's fun. Um, I will. I do always do other games either way, though. But this is a game right now that people like a lot. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more news on uh, what's next to come for the Risk of Rain series, or just a game in general. Not from me, but from the uh, actual developer. Um, Cause uh, there's got to be another character coming. I, I'm assuming there's going to be another like some type of. Uh, like another game mode maybe or a maybe kind of a new level or something maybe that would be really cool I, I would like an expansion of this game I think that'd be really awesome I wouldn't put it past me if the uh, the devs are actually doing another game or or an expansion because I'm sure they made a decent amount of money from this I don't know the guy seems like he, he enjoyed you know what came from Risk of Rain I believe it started with a Kickstarter so I'm sure he's, he wants more, you know, to do for the game. Um, but yeah, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I love when you guys come and watch these videos. And I do reply to my messages, so feel free to message me anytime. But this is Mandusa, and I will see you guys next time.